Hello and welcome to Shorofsar's classes. In this video, we will learn about Bertrand's postulate. Now, we have seen that the sequence of prime numbers 2, 3, 5, 7, dot, dot, dot is infinite. Right? So, we have to see that these gaps these gaps are not bounded that the size of the gaps size of the gaps are not bounded right let's see that let n 2 3 5 P denote sorry yeah denote the product of all prime numbers of all prime numbers numbers smaller than smaller than k plus 2 and that and that none of n plus 2 n plus 3 n plus 4 dot 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 n plus k n plus k plus 1 plus 1 is prime since for two i k plus one we know that i has a prime factor prime factor that is smaller than k plus 2 and that this factor this factor also divides divides n right and hence n plus i right with this recipe we can find for example for k equals 10 that none of the 10 numbers 2 3 1 2 2 3 1 3 2 3 1 4 up till 2 3 2 1 none of these are prime right let's just move on but but there are also upper bounds upper bounds for the gaps let's just yeah for the gaps in the sequence of prime numbers and cannot be cannot be larger than the number we start our search at so what is being told here is Bertrand Russell I mean not Bertrand Russell Joseph Bertrand I'm extremely sorry Bertrand conjectured that this is by Joseph Bertrand Joseph 
Bertrand, not Bertrand Russell. I was thinking of this name and then I came out with the name Bertrand Russell. In any case, so Joseph Bertrand said confidently that I have said it once and I'll say it again, it again. Let's just, yeah, there is always a prime between n and 2n. Now Mr. Bertrand did not verify his postulate. He verified the statement by hand. Look at that. He verified by hand for all positive integers n up to 6 million. He was a hard working man. And along came this person called Shebi Shev in 1850 and he he proved proved this theorem right later on this was turned to those restrictions were gone to 2n minus 2 which is a much more stricter restriction and you can check for let's say for example n equals 7 the number uh, 11 is prime and lies between 7 and 12 right I guess that's it so Thanks for watching.